Welcome to Short Points, where we share thoughts and ideas inspired by the Sabbath School lesson. Nick, from the moment that I opened the lesson for this week, which by the way is, it, is titled Heavenly Sanctuary, I constantly ask myself one question. Is there really a sanctuary in heaven? And what if it is not as I have imagined it? <laughs> a sanctuary in heaven? This lesson is a very colorful picture of business in heaven. Mm -hmm. But honestly, how important is it for us to understand things of heaven? I mean, we can't really define heaven. How much can we understand? Now, there are important messages revealed to us through these visions of heaven, and we should be able to grasp enough to understand the message. But let's not start coming up with theories about heaven and its infrastructure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One statement from the author of the lesson now bugs me. He says, Scripture is clear. The heavenly sanctuary is a real place. And from it we can learn truths about the character and work of our God. What do you think? Of course, yes. The heavenly sanctuary is a real place. I have no doubt about it. But does a real place mean a literal place? I don't think so. The Bible is all about reality, truth, meaning, but God has reserved the right to define things that are, are not of this world. Jesus said, I have spoken to you of earthly things and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? Mm -hmm. So God has chosen to speak with parables and to draw pictures with colors that we can understand. And the sanctuary is one of those masterpieces of God. So, Nick, would you be in peace with what I just said? Or you have something else to say? <laughs> I agree with the essence of what you said. But about place? What is a place in the context of heaven? We can't know. But I agree about real. It is a reality with significant meaning. Now... The lesson is talking about a special presence of God versus His general presence. And I'm not sure how much I agree with this, but it does support the point that the described sanctuary in heaven has a very special relevance in the relationship between God and His creation. And for me, this is the focus. Let's move on. I really like how the lesson structures its presentation about the heavenly sanctuary. Nick, but the, the lesson does not describe a sanctuary as we know it in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. But it uses the language and uh, the objects and the functions we read about it. Hm. Wherever God is now, He is working for the salvation of humanity. Yes. Now, the presentation starts from the throne room. Mm -hmm. With the glory and sovereignty of the King of the universe. With righteousness, justice, love truthfulness of his ruling. So God is on his throne. Mm -hmm. As king, he is working for the salvation of humanity. Then it goes through the scene of worship and recognition of God as creator. I really like this image. It sounds like a picture of a healed world. I mean, healed from the challenge against God. And in the middle of this gathering there is the lamb. So now God is a helpless lamb. A pure sacrifice, a service in a sanctuary for the salvation of humanity. Then we have the courtroom where things have to be cleared and put back in order. I mean, justice is being restored there. The reason for the final decision for everyone has to be crystal clear and fair. God is a judge in the courtroom. And he's working for the salvation of man. And at the end we have the imagery of the high priest with his work. This is where reconciliation is made for the sins of those who accept the sacrifice. God is the priest and the high priest. And he's working in the sanctuary for the salvation of humanity. It's a fascinating ride. Yes, it is. Whatever God does in heaven, we can see its shadow in the earthly sanctuary. 
and it is to show that God is still at work for the salvation of men. What was the purpose of the earthly sanctuary? Was it not the salvation of men? Hmm. Nick, I was asking myself, can I, a 21st century man, participate in the services of the heavenly sanctuary? Hmm. And I think my answer is yes, I can participate. If I believe it is real that God is working for the salvation of men now, I am a worshipper in the heavenly sanctuary. Nice. This lesson for me is a depiction of a reality about a world that we cannot see. There is something going on there that is dealing with the consequences of the rebellion that broke this world apart. Mm -hmm. It shows that God is involved in it, that Jesus is involved in it, that uncountable number of other creatures are involved in it, and that it's all about me and you. The key part though is that it works and at the end there is cleaning, healing and restoration. Hmm. These were our short points on the lesson. We welcome your feedback, your comments, your questions. Join us next week when we continue our journey.